Oh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by newqbo.com. newqbo.com. That's our website. So in this video, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, invoice payment terms in QuickBooks Online. So everything to, to do with the invoice payment terms in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. So here's QuickBooks Online. Okay, so first you need to... Uh, uh, set up payment terms if you have just one you know just basically uh, you can just set up uh, when you create invoice like this you can just add new all right so I'll show you uh, uh, one other way probably the uh, right way to do it okay so just go to uh, gear icon uh, under list select all list and you will see terms right here terms so this is the one you want to click terms and uh, so here's your uh, I've already set up terms and it's loading it shouldn't take that long well not there we go okay so uh, so these are the terms I already set up okay so let's say you want to uh, uh, invoice knit on uh, knit terms 10 days so you just set up uh, uh, just name net 10 and due in fixed number of days uh, 10 days uh, and then save uh, same thing with if you want net 60 just click uh, just set up like a net 60 and due in fixed number of days 60 days and uh, uh, in this case if you don't want to uh, apply discount if paid uh, I haven't set up anything in there so just unclick that one and like this so uh, uh, so this is how if you you need, you need to set up uh, net payment terms if you have uh, uh, different uh, terms depending upon your uh, customers type okay so same thing with due on receive let's see how this one is set up uh, due on receive and it's zero days you know the moment you invoice your customer the invoice is due okay how about the uh, uh, cash discount for prompt pay uh, discount okay so let's just select this uh, uh, 1 percent 50 net 30 means uh, uh, it's net 30 but if you pay within uh, 15 days you get to uh, take uh, customer can take 1 percent uh, early payment discount so let's see how this one is set up Okay, so 1% 15 at 30 and terms to sit 30 days and uh, apply discount if paid early to select one and then days. Okay, so this is how this one works. And now let's go to uh, the uh, company gear in here. Company gear. And so this one, if you want to set up uh, uh, default terms, so default terms sales as you can see here preferred invoice terms so in most of the companies you have different race terms but uh, you'll have uh, one default uh, terms uh, for uh, all the customers you know in this case uh, I have selected net 30 so if you have uh, uh, net 10 15 30 whatever you can just select from here so what happens is when you open your uh, invoice form you will automatically see net 30 you know like this one in here so if I select uh, invoice any invoice so you'll see net 30 in here right okay so that's one thing and then uh, another thing is so if you have a different uh, uh, different terms based on your customer type you can always uh, set up on customers profile too okay so let's go to uh, uh, one customer here let's say this one oh not that one okay so San Diego co computer let's click this one and uh, oh, I'm going the wrong place here okay all right a1 member so just click edit see under payment and billing so you can select uh, terms for this customer 
so that you don't want to change it uh, all the time when you're creating invoice so let's just say default for this customer only is net 15 let's select net 15 and save it so next time when you want to create invoice you will see net 15 in here okay what is this term thing what does it do basically so invoice date is this and it will basically uh, uh, compute due date that's all it does you know that's all it does okay so if you select let's say 1% of 15 it's still the due date is still the same uh, 30 days uh, but uh, it's just basically telling your customer that if you pay uh, within 15 days hey you get to take 1% off from this invoice that's all it's saying okay and it doesn't do anything more than that in QuickBooks Online so uh, so let's just see uh, how this 1% early payment discount works in QuickBooks Online okay so if you're gonna use it uh, as I say this is basically uh, it's like a text field but this one net 30 computes the due date and 1% thing it doesn't do anything okay so let's just create one invoice in here all right we already have a customer in here a1 member all right just select a product in here okay so let's just say one uh, gadget 202 and it's 500 dollars okay and total is there's a tax in here if there's no tax you can uncheck this box so it's 540 all right let's just select a different date in here okay so all right this one is due Date is this but uh, it doesn't even calculate when they can take one percent off you know uh, so you just have to figure out if they paid within the one percent 15 days or not so it's uh, it's all a manual watching thing you know okay so okay i saved it all right so now uh so they paid within one uh one within 15 days and they took uh one percent off okay the question is will they take on 540 or 500 so there's no way of telling most likely the customer will take 540 it's basically you just have to eat uh one percent discount on this uh uh sales as well as sales tax okay so uh what happens when you when they take uh, this one percent off okay all right so one percent off is basically uh is your uh, uh early payment discount so that's basically a contract account of your revenue account it comes out from your revenue account okay so what do we do so you just need to create one uh, product service item like this one in here all right so payment discount is i just created payment discount in here okay so uh something like this the service type and the payment discount right here and description is this and i already created the uh uh the uh income account uh in the chart of accounts let's see in here right here I'm gonna show you how I created this okay okay so this is an income type and a detail type is discounts refund given discounts refund given so this is like a counter type it's revenue is one uh, is positive and uh, this amount discount taken is negative that's what you'll see in your income statement so this is how you have to create uh, uh, add one account uh, if you want to see it uh, uh, discounts uh, as a separate line item in your PL. if you don't care about that you can just choose uh, your regular income account so this is basically for for uh, your own internal uh, uh, reports and you want to see how much uh, uh, discount taken 
from your customer. Okay, so now I have this, so you just select, you just created this prompt pay discount. Edit in here. Okay, so right now this one doesn't work. It takes a while. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so anyway, you got an idea that I already, you have already seen that one. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to the invoice one. Okay, so 540 is your invoice, uh, and then now you got the uh, payment within uh, 15 days, I'll say, okay. Uh, so what happens if it's, uh, you know, your invoice, they, they may pay within 15 or maybe 10 days or maybe in 20 days. So it's, uh, you have to decide if it is uh, over 15 days that they are, are they allowed to uh, take discount from the invoice or not. That happens all the time. You have to decide. Okay, so uh, so let's say you got the payment on this thing, okay, and uh, let's just say for, for the round number, they took $6 off uh, from this invoice, okay. So let's say receiving here, and you got uh, $534 in here, right? So at this point, the QuickBooks doesn't do uh, uh, anything to, uh, uh, to deduct $6 RE uh, payment. Uh, from the receipt payment section. So what you have to do is, uh, the one you work around I can think of is uh, create uh, uh, create uh, a credit memo. All right, hold on a second here. So I'm gonna create a credit memo to A1 member, that's a customer. All right, so six bucks. Six bucks credit memo to A1 member. A1 member. And uh, the, 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 the product service you want to create, is use is the, the prompt pay one, the discount one. Let's see here. That's not the one. Let's see discount in here. Yeah, okay, right here. Payment discount. So this is the item you want to use, and in this case, six bucks. And it's you have to show negative. Or you don't have to show negative in this one. This is already credit memo. Okay, so six bucks, six dollars. You can mention, you know, uh, in here, what is this all about? Six dollars. Don't pay. Discount. Taken, you know, on invoice number. So I just get the invoice number. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna save and close. So now you have uh, invoice and then uh, six dollars uh, uh, credit. So that means uh, if you add those, you should, you should match with your payment. So now you're ready to uh, receive payment. Okay, so now you can select this, this one, 540, and select the credit memo of six bucks. So the net amount received is 534. Okay, so, so this is how you have to do it. If, you, if you're using, uh, you're offering a, a discount, uh, early discount. Okay, so now uh, let's see what happens on customer's profile in here. Okay, A1 member. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, as you can see here, uh, 540 was the invoice, six dollars was the uh, uh, credit memo for discount taken, and they paid 534. So you should be able to see the status paid, close, close. It's done. And at some point, if you want to figure out uh, uh, how much early payment discount taken uh, by each terms, you know, like in you go in here, same place, terms, and the one percent one is run report from here, like this in here. So you will see all the distribution in here, like that. So it's not a big report, but this is how they you can see it. Okay, so uh, and also you can check it from the product and services too, I think. Yeah, I like this one here, say six bucks. So if you want to see it all together, I have 26 bucks. Um, different customers, so this is basically for a prompt pay discount um, account. And if you want to see the uh, report in your PNL, how it'll look, profit and loss, and I want to see it for today. So you will see like this in here, six dollars, and uh, and the other one was somewhere here. Okay, so and if you don't want to see negative front pay discount in your profit and loss you don't have to create a separate uh, item uh, list and just use the regular income account this is how it works in QuickBooks Online anyway thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video it would be helpful uh, be subscribed to our YouTube channels this is a free video tutorial, so you can learn a lot with all kinds of information. You can visit our website too. It's a newqbo.com, newqbo.com. And uh, we have two channels, PP Controller and QuickBooks QBO, the one you're watching. Thank you again. Bye.